Let's look at consideration as one of the seven C's. Yeah, consideration, it looks at keeping in mind, like you keep other people in mind, the, the people that you are communicating to. You keep the target group in mind when you are communicating. Yeah, so it is very important in effective communication when writing a message to always keep in mind the target group. Yeah, you keep it like you consider the feelings of the other people that you are communicating to. In case you are speaking, do not just speak things that will affect pe people's feelings and emotions. So consideration implies assignment of due importance to the knowledge, level of understanding, purpose, and feeling of the recipient. And consideration is very important among the seven C's. So consideration is very important among all the seven C's. Like when you're communicating, when you are speaking or writing something, consider how the other person will feel when they hear or when they read that thing. For example, if you are if you are like talking to orphans, you are not supposed to be talking about parents. Like a parent's love, it is too nice. Like they are not supposed to hear that because you're going to affect their feelings. If you are talking like to the poor, you are not supposed to be saying, I hate poor people and all that. So consider the feelings of the, of the what? Of the target group or of the audience that you are talking to or writing to. That is what they call being considerate. Keep them in mind and communicate things that they would love to hear. Let's look at how to achieve consideration. The first way to achieve consideration is that be considerate and sensitive to the communication needs, interest, or intention of your recipient. Handle matters from his or her point of view. So when you are communicating, you're supposed to first understand the needs of your audience, their interests, yeah, and the intention of, the, of your recipient so that you can communicate from their point of view. Yeah, like talk to them as if you are all in the same category, like you're all in the same situation in case you are talking to the sick. Yeah, you... you you cannot start telling them that we being sick is so disgusting and all that. So you're supposed to communicate from their point of view. Yeah, you're supposed to give them like encouraging messages. You'll be like, you're going to be fine. We are going to be fine. Things like that. So you're supposed to understand their needs and their intentions. Another way to achieve consideration is that stress the you attitude and not the me attitude. They like put emphasis on what the reader wants to know and what the reader wants to hear and consider how he or she will be affected by the message. Yet there is need to develop empathy to avoid sounding selfish and then uninterested. So always consider what your reader or what your listener wants to hear or what they like want to read, yeah, so that you do not sound selfish. Another way to achieve consideration is that show your audience the benefit or the interest that is in that thing for them, like how they are going to benefit from it. Always state that out, because Every time that we communicate to people, they always ask themselves, like, how am I benefiting from this message? Because if it doesn't benefit them, they are most likely not to listen to you. So always show the audience how they are going to benefit from something. Another way to achieve consideration is emphasize positive, pleasant facts. This means stressing out what can be done instead of what cannot be done. Also, you must focus on what your recipient considers favorable. In case a student like fails an exam, do not tell them you fail the exam. I wonder what else you can do with life. Like tell them what can be done. You can tell them like keep improving. 
something like that. So tell them what can be done. Or you talk, you, you talk about positive and pleasant facts or the words that your recipient considers favorable. Tell them there is still room for improvement. This is not the end. There are still very many other things that you can do. And there are very many ways of improving instead of discouraging them. Then another way to achieve consideration is that do not lose your temper. Because most of the times if you're angry, you will not be considerate. Yeah, you will not care about the feelings of the other people. Then do not accuse people. Then the last thing is that do not judge them without facts. Let's look at the benefits of consideration. First is that consideration helps to build a quick rapport. A rapport is like a relationship. Yeah, if you're considerate of how the others feel, it will help you to create a relationship with those people. Then it improves effectiveness of communication, like the receiver will understand the message like the way you want them to. 